Welcome back to the MS Project 2010 video tutorial series by group.net. In lesson 5.3, we see how to assign material resources to a task. So first, we see how to add material resources in the task information tab, how to add material resources in the detail view, and how to add assignment units. For this tutorial, you can use the sample project prepared at the end of lesson 5.2, available on group.net. So now, coming to the project plan, we had last entered people resources and equipment resources for our project. Now, we shall add material resources. The process is exactly the same. So let us try and install using the task information tab. Let us say for example for the task place concrete for foundations and basement walls. You can double click it. Go to the resources tab and here click under the resource name and choose concrete. Ok. The other option is to go to the view click on details it opens a split window and again this is shown or else let us try and add for another one let us say for paint for this task we can simply click here and add paint as the unit. We can also go to the resource tab and click on assign resources and directly put ticks here. For example, let us take the other painting activity. We say assign resources. Painting contractor is already assigned. We can You can scroll down to get paint and then say assign. This can also be used to remove previously assigned resources or replace them. Now let us look at the assignment units. When we add a new resource which is a material resource, the units shown are in, in whole numbers. So if you take one, it means that the entire unit that you have allotted for paint will be used here. This means that the cost that you have given in the resource sheet is for one unit. If you want to use double that, you can make it two. Or if you want to use half of it, you can make it 0.5. the costs will be calculated accordingly. The key thing to remember is that the material assignment will not affect task duration like the assignment of work resources. These are only to calculate the costs. So to summarize, we have seen how to add material resources in the task information tab, in the detail view and how to add assignment units. A sample of the project plan completed up to this stage is available on group.net. Thank you for joining us on this tutorial. In the next part of the video tutorial series, we see how to assign cost resources to tasks.